Hello everyone, to another Katan video, you are on colonist.io and to my road to top 100 series. So in this game, I am in the first position and I am noticing that there is not a lot of ore available on this board. Also sheep is just concentrated on these two tiles, uh, 6 and 8. Not a lot of wood and decent brick as well. So here I am preferring towards 8510 grabs me the best sheep, a very strong wheat and the best ore on this board. The other option is going for something like 659 or maybe even 8510. And here I am actually considering going for 659. That is the best producing spot on this board. And it does get me the get me a very strong uh, wheat, sheep and ore. But then for my second placement I would need brick and ore. So 8510 is the only option which I don't think will be available. Whereas wood might be available for my second placement if I go for something like maybe 3411 or 9, 10, 11. So based on that, I think just going for 8, 5, 10 makes sense. I think I'm just going for 8, 5, 10 is completely fine here. Pointing to the left so that I can get to the wood port if I need to. I should have also considered maybe 9, 5, 10, but surely I like 8, 5, 10 here. Now, most likely red will go for either the other 8510 or maybe 695. Now in hindsight, maybe I should have even considered 694. I think that seems to be a very strong spot as well. Grabbing the strongest wood and brick on this board. Red does go for 8510. So no matter what, I think black will have a very, very uh, strong setup either with 694 or with 965. And 694 can easily be paired with something like 834 and uh, black will have a very, very good game. Black will be able to get to the wheat port, the 3 to 1 port. Yeah, seems very strong there. When it comes back to me, I think I might have the option of going for something like 834. I surely wouldn't mind going for something like 9, 10, 11 or even 3, 10, 8, 11 for that matter. So here white does go for 6, 9, 4. I think that's the pretty good choice. And black here can just go for 6, 9, 5 and 9, 10, 11. Play with a very strong or wheat cheap kind of a game along with lot of wood. Yeah, does go for exactly that setup here. And now white will most likely go for 6311 and get some ore along with uh, sheep and the other resources that he already has. And then red might go for actually, wow, white went with a very strong first placement, but the second placement here is surely surprising because now most likely 
रेड विल गो फॉर समथिंग लाइक सिक्स थ्री फोर और सॉरी सिक्स थ्री इलेवन एंड देन आई कैन गो फॉर एट थ्री फोर माई सेल्फ और रेड कैन एक्चुअली इवन गो फॉर एट थ्री फोर सीम्स टू बी एन एक्सेलेंट स्पॉट I can also go for something like six three eleven, and then not play with any port. Like eight three four is a good choice, but then. Wow! So here I can go for something like four five eleven. Increase my O V T and O R production. play with a solid orbit cheap kind of a game my other choice is just going for 6 11 12 and then trying to get to 8 3 4 but with no wood production and very little wheat i don't think that's a right choice here maybe just 8 3 4 might be completely all right yeah and especially because i might have access to the wood port I think just going for eight three four is fine here. Yeah, with White's placement, they are leaving the entire board open. It's very surprising. And the reason why I'm so focused on the three to one port is because I produce a lot of wheat, and. Uh, Yeah, these early tens are surely good for me. Red rolls the seven. Red will most likely block the ten over. Yeah, does do that. And might target me. Yeah, and steals my over. So a little unfortunate. Does end their turn with eight cards in hand, which is a little surprising. I would surely want to target. Uh, uh, let's see if I can get this trade or a trade like this. So I do get a one is to two. Wait, what? I accepted a one is to one. Wow, that is surely a mistake on my part. I was trying to offer a one is to two. Did not mean to accept it. But here, I think just going for dev card is fine. I get a victory point. Wow, unfortunate. Surely would have preferred any other card. Here, black rolls the seven. Black might block the four wheat. or maybe the eight wheat as well not sure about that i would prefer if black blocks the four wheat here yeah it does block the eight wheat though and here with the cards that i have in hand i think i can offer a trade but uh, i don't think i'll be getting any trades here this early on in the game Yeah I think my only option is to go for a break and get a settlement on the 3 to 1 port first. I would have accepted this trade on my turn. So yeah, actually everybody else is making good progress. I, yeah, everybody has a city but me, which is a little unfortunate at this point. Here I will offer. I will ask for a one is to two.
Let's see. I think black will just end their turn at this point without taking any action. Okay, plays a knight and solo targets red. I don't mind that at all. Especially because of 5 is rolled immediately afterwards. So that's a pretty good block here. Wow, black going for a double dev card there. And even though I want to target both black and here, but I think my only option is to target. I get sheep, which is not bad. Let's see if I can get any trades though. I would prefer getting a settlement on this turn. I might even offer a 1 is to 2. If not, maybe I can just hold on to these cards. Yeah, white accepts it. And unfortunately, I do not have any option but to accept that trade from white. Red rolls a 7. Red will block the 9 wood, I believe. Yeah, the other 9 wood is completely fine as well. Yeah, surely wouldn't mind a few eights. I'm really surprised that black is solo blocking red. I really don't understand that, but uh, that is how it is at this point. Here, if nobody accepts the trade, here, if nobody accepts the trade, I will just end my turn. Yeah, I don't think red is going to respond. So I'm not going for a dev card here because I think I need a need to get a city first. Red will continue to block the nine break, I believe. Sorry, nine word. Yo, and red has their second city and two dev cards there. Yeah, I don't think so. There are going to be any easy trades in this game. Yeah, I'll ask for a 1 is to 3 or else it doesn't make any sense to help white in this case. White ends their turn with 7 cards. Wow, these 10s are huge for everyone at this point. I surely need to get my city soon. I mean, I will be able to get my city on my turn. And yeah. So just getting a city on 8, 5, 10 seems good. And now the 3 to 1 port might be, might come into play. Red rolls the 7. Red might block the 10 ore. I don't mind if red blocks this 9 wood again. Yeah, it does block the 9 wood. Looks like it is going to be very difficult for me to get the largest army. Yeah, black already has it. 
I don't understand why black is solo blocking red mm -hmm. here. I mean, although red is ahead, he's not that far ahead. On my turn, I would love to roll a 7 and I will actually block the sick sheep now. Like Black's progress has surely gone down. Uh, sorry, uh, White's progress has surely gone down here. Unfortunately, I roll a 9. Nothing that I can do. White needs to be targeted. You know, with 11 cards. Yeah, this game might be over very, very quickly. Yeah, five, eight rolls. I do like eights, giving me three cards. I think that's the first four of the game as well. Yeah, surely not going to accept that yeah. offer. Yeah, I think on my turn here, the only choice I have is to go for another dev card. I do get victory point, so that's actually not bad at all. Like, I don't mind getting victory points here. A monopoly would be pretty good as well, but uh, let's see. So red is red could easily be on eight points here if he has two VPs as well. Yeah, unfortunately, not a lot of uh, sevens rolling here. And I am also a little concerned about White's progress. He has been very fast. Wow, like black is still targeting red, a solo targeting red, which I do not understand at all. Let's see if I can get a 1 is to 2 here, I will go for it. If not, yeah, I will accept a 1 is to 1 here, that does give me another dev card, and if a 10 rolls, I will actually just go for a city. Instead, I roll a 3, so I can get 2 dev cards if I want. I do get a knight, uh, which is fine. And another knight. I would have preferred getting a year of plenty or a monopoly, but this is fine as well. Red here needs to block the nine word. This the other nine word is completely fine. Yeah, red here just going for the longest road could easily be on nine points pull for the win yeah here actually i need to let white get the longest road
And with that six roll, I, there is not much that I can do. I can only play my knight here. I do get a break, not something that I wanted. But let's see if I can get a trade here. Like if I get a one is to one, I might accept it as well. If not, I think I'll just end my turn. Blue will surely play his knight. It doesn't even play his knight. So red can easily just win the game. Has a monopoly. Wow. So yeah, there is... Red surely has been very lucky in this game. With 21 cards, I'm pretty sure. And the 3 is to 1 port as well. He, can, he just needs to get a city. It seems like he's just going for a road and a settlement. Surprising that he doesn't have a VP here. So if he has a year of plenty or something of that sort, that's even worse. Let's see if uh, white can get the longest road, but it's even more difficult now. But I do not have any choice. I just have to accept any trade he gives me. Yeah, even if uh, white connects, I don't think he will be able to hold on to the longest road for very long. I still needs to build two more roads, so it seems absolutely impossible at this point. Yeah, for me, I think I'll just play my knight. There is no point at this, no, no other reason to hold on to the knight. I roll a nine. I cannot do anything, so I'll just end my turn. So luckily, there isn't enough wood. So that, so red cannot do much. Yeah. Wow, white just goes for a single settlement, which is fine. I mean, he needed three more roads. Yeah. So black plays a road building, but I mean that will just give black a one point here if he just gets a road and a settlement. I roll a six, absolutely nothing that I can do. Red blocks himself, he knows he has won the game. Yeah, I do end in the third position. 
but not much that I could have done. I mean, yeah, the sixes, five sixes were completely lopsided here. Very few eights, only three eights this entire game. So it was like I did not have any chance at all. Also, I mean, threes did roll six times, but then I think it helped Y red more than it helped me. And also a lot of 10s and 11s. So yeah, I mean, I don't think I had any chance in this game. That said, the setup that white had was absolutely not good enough. White should have gone for something like 6-3-11. Uh, Red just had too strong of a setup. He had all five resources and the production was not bad at all. Uh, yeah, that's how it is sometimes. I mean, uh, nothing much that I could have done there. Anyway, uh, bye for now and see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.